In this video, we're gonna use mods to bring back a lot of the aspects that made the classic Fallout game so awesome to Fallout New Vegas. Throughout the video, I'm gonna compare New Vegas to the classics, and it's not just armors, weapons, or textures, no. We want to bring back everything we can from the classic fallouts to New Vegas. So let's start right now because there's a lot to cover. What is the first thing you see when you boot up Fallout New Vegas? You see the start screen and main menu. And right when you load your game, you're gonna see the loading screen. So we're gonna take care of that and classicify the Fallout New Vegas interface. By using the mod, even better loading screens and main menu replacer. I know what you're thinking, how does this have anything to do with classic Fallout? Take a look at what you see when you boot up Fallout 2. The classic fallouts were made by Interplay and Black Isle Studios. This mod gives you the option to remove Bethesda's name completely from the loading screens. Instead, you'll have Interplay, Black Isles, and Obsidian. Fuck you, Bethesda. We're also gonna need Nostalgia Menu to replace Fallout New Vegas' main title and make it look like the classic Fallout's titles. I also recommend downloading NMC's Texture Pack because it adds the most amazing loading wheel for Fallout New Vegas ever. Next, you'll notice several things that don't match the classic fallouts at all. The text font, the user interface, the HUD, the dialogue interface, skills, traits, and the Pip-Boy. You'll notice that all those things were drastically different in the original fallout. But we can take care of all that with mods. First, we're gonna need fallout classic fonts with accents. With this mod, the Fallout New Vegas font is gonna resemble the classics. Then we'll need interface mod revelation classic fallout UI. We're gonna use this mod to bring back the old school user interface. And with the mod Desert Ranger interface, we'll bring back the classic HUD aesthetic. Close to Fallout, Return of the Talking Heads. This mod replaces Fallout New Vegas' dialogue interface with a dialogue box that resembles the classics. Like the mod's title says, this mod brings back Talking Heads. I also recommend using the HUD editor. With that, you'll be able to customize your HUD to your liking. For skills, traits, and various other gameplay changes, we're gonna use Kyra Sans Classic Overhaul and Big Gun Skill. In a brief explanation, CCC overhauls the way skills, perks, damage threshold, and resistance work in Fallout New Vegas, and a bunch of other changes. For example, if you have a high enough charisma, you can have up to five companions. Your attack skills now level at double the rate of other skills. And the mod adds classic traits and classic perks, and rebalances some already existing perks. And Big Gun's skill will obviously re-implement the skill of Big Guns back into Fallout New Vegas. And for the Pip-Boy, we're gonna use a familiar friend. Pip-Boy 2500, a handheld Pip-Boy. This mod replaces the vanilla Pip-Boy with a handheld Pip-Boy resembling the one in Fallout 1 and 2. We're also gonna need PM's retexture of the Pip-Boy 2500. For the Pip-Boy screen, we're gonna use Pip-Boy classic scanline textures. This mod adds scan lines to the Pip-Boy screen and also adds the same scan lines to VATS. An effort to replicate the same VATS aesthetic from the original Fallout. The next thing you'll do is open Doc Mitchell's house door and be greeted with the wasteland. The landscape in Fallout New Vegas looks pretty close to the classics. However, the roads in Fallout New Vegas are a lighter color. And in the classics, they are much darker. And if you're using NMC's texture pack, it all looks wrong. I don't want to make this video too complicated, so to keep things as simple as possible, we're keeping NMC's texture pack because it retextures a lot of objects in the game and makes the game more aesthetically pleasing. However, as mentioned, the terrain in NMC's texture pack does not resemble the classics at all. So, to fix this issue, open up your NMC's texture pack folder, head into landscapes, and delete every folder except for the ones you see on my screen. Now for the roads, I couldn't find any darker roads retextures. However, I did find George's landscape retexture. And the roads in this texture pack are pretty dark and resemble the classics a lot more. Head into your George's landscape retexture folder, open up the landscape folder and delete everything except the things you see on my screen. Here's some comparisons and what your game should look like after. And by the way, if any of you guys need help installing these mods or setting things up, just leave a comment down below and I'll help you out. So I was messing around while I was testing all those texture mods, and I noticed that there's way too much grass in Fallout New Vegas. In Fallout 1 and 2, grass was a rare sight. So we're gonna go ahead and remove grass from the game. Just head into your Fallout INI, search for this grass option, and set it from 1 to 0. Doing this will remove grass completely from the game. However, there'll still be some bushes you'll come across around the wasteland, but that's okay.
Now that you're out in the wasteland, you have complete freedom to travel anywhere you want. And if you can recall in the original games, traveling across the wasteland, you'd come across a lot of random encounters. To re-implement that into Fallout New Vegas, we're gonna use the mod DFB Random Encounters. This mod re-implements the threat of random encounters to the Mojave Wasteland at random encounter locations. However, I do believe you have to be traveling on foot for those encounters to occur. And in the original games, you couldn't travel on foot. You had to use a time-lapse fast travel system. And you could go anywhere you wanted in the Wasteland. You didn't have to discover the specific locations to have the ability to fast travel anywhere. And you would occasionally stumble upon random encounters that way. To replicate the same system, we're gonna use JIP fast travel anywhere. This mod will give you the ability to fast travel anywhere you wanted in the wasteland. With the mod also comes the same random encounter system as you fast travel. However, JIP's mod does not replace the vanilla fast travel system. And after you fast traveled wherever you wanted, you could discover those locations. And now you can use the vanilla fast travel system and have no use for JIP's. So to counteract that, we're gonna use immersive fast travel encounters. This mod will implement D&D style text random encounters whenever the player fast travels. In the original games, you would meet all types of people. Wastelanders, scavengers, mercenaries, caravans, prospectors. You could come across a lot of NPCs just by traveling. So to implement that into Fallout New Vegas, we're gonna use the mod The Living Desert. This mod will add in the game a lot of traveling NPCs. And it will also add a lot of consequences to your actions. So for example, if you've helped clear out a location from enemies, you'll notice some friendly NPCs start traveling in that location. This and a lot of other consequences truly make the Mojave a living desert. Another way you could fast travel in the classic fallouts was via caravan. You could come across caravans as you fast travel yourself in the wasteland and ask if you could join up with them. Or you could find caravans in settlements and ask to accompany them to your desired location that way. This feature is missing from Fallout New Vegas, but using the mod Caravan Travel, we can re-implement this feature. Caravan Travel is gonna implement this feature by adding caravans in every settlement in Fallout New Vegas and allowing you to fast travel safely with them so you won't have to encounter any enemies. This is a very much needed fast travel alternative to all the random encounter fast traveling mods we have downloaded. You could also fast travel in Fallout 2 using the Highwayman vehicle. And this is yet another feature missing from Fallout New Vegas. The next mod we're gonna use requires the mod Fallout The Frontier. I know what you're thinking. How can anything good come out of this mod? This mod is an absolute <laughs> Fall of the Frontier may have been a very badly written quest mod. However, it does an amazing job in pushing the limits for the Gamebryo engine. One of the ways it did that is the vehicle driving feature. So we're gonna download Fall of the Frontier and after that, we're gonna download the repairable and drivable Chrysalis Highwayman. This mod adds back the drivable vehicle from Fallout 2. So you can now drive around in the Mojave Wasteland traveling from place to place. And you can actually fast travel while still in the vehicle. And that works using the vanilla fast travel system and JIP's fast travel system. And all the encounters work perfectly. Now that you're traveling, meeting all kinds of people, meeting all kinds of monsters and enemies, and coming across a lot of different types of loot, we are going to retexture some enemies to make them resemble the classic games, and re-implement a lot of Fallout 1 and 2 armors and weapons to Fallout New Vegas. Let's begin with creatures, starting with Deathclaws. The mod Horrors of the New West will redesign Deathclaws to make them look more like the ones from Fallout 1 and 2. Here's a little comparison. Rad Scorpions are next, and to make them look like Fallout 1 and 2's Rad Scorpions, we're using the mod Classic-esque Rad Scorpion color palette. And now with the new brown recolor, Rad Scorpions will resemble their old school counterparts a lot better. We're also gonna retexture geckos to better suit the classic aesthetic we are going for, using the mod CVD Classic Gecko Textures. And now to bring back the old school super mutants, floaters, and centaurs, we are using the following mods. Classic Fallout Super Mutants, Mariposa Mutants, Classic Centaur Replacer, and Classic Fallout Floaters for New Vegas. Now we're gonna add four armors from the Classic Fallout games. The Metal Armor, the Combat Armor, the Leather Jacket, and the Leather Armor. And also we're gonna give Power Armors in Fallout New Vegas that classic bulky look using the mod Titans of the New West. And now we're gonna re-implement weapons from Fallout 1 and 2 into New Vegas using the mod Classic Fallout Weapons Remastered. This mod brings back a lot of classic weapons from Fallout 1 and 2 to New Vegas. We're almost done, I'm just gonna list off several miscellaneous mods that will enhance the classic feel. Don't you guys miss the gore of the classics and the extreme energy weapon kill effects? 
Well, we're gonna bring those back using the following mods. Gore Overhaul, more Gore Giblets, Blood Verhaul, Flesh Burnificating Plasma, and Eve. And I know for sure you guys miss this. And we're gonna bring that back using the mod Killable Children NVSE. In the classics, you could also blow doors open. We're gonna bring that back using Explosive Entry. This mod will allow you to place explosives on doors. If your explosive skill is high enough, that door will be unlocked. In Fallout 1 in the settlement Shady Sands, you'll see some Adobe architecture. We're gonna replicate that in Fallout New Vegas using the mod Classic Adobe Buildings. Did you know that in Fallout 2, you could become a prize fighter in the sport of boxing at the location New Reno? We're gonna try to replicate that in Fallout New Vegas using the mod King of the Ring. This mod will add a boxing gym to the game where you can fight for caps. And finally, we're gonna remove the requirement of the power armor training perk to put on power armor using the mod No Power Armor Training. This mod removes the power armor training requirement and instead adds benefits to the power armor training perk so that you'll have a reason to go and get training. Don't forget to check requirements for each and every mod you saw in this video. And if you have any questions about any of the mods, leave them in the comments below. Also, what videos do you guys want to see next? Let me know.